Okay, so once I download the E3 app, I have to open it up. And once it loads, it might take a little while the first time. Always don't X out if you want to leave it open. You can just minimize it with the minus sign. So I can minimize it and then it opens real quick. Um, I want to go to um, new project. Okay. Um, we want to start by connecting it um, so that we can upload right away to it. So we're going to connect this time through Bluetooth. So I'm going to go to connect. It's going to walk me through what to do. So it's going to say, turn on your Bluetooth on your Chromebook. So make sure your Bluetooth on your Chromebook is turned on. I, I did that. I'm going to go over the menu to Bluetooth on the screen like it's showing me in the video. And I'm going to OK that box on, on the three. And click yes. Okay, turned on my Bluetooth on my EB3. And it should be searching, making sure I'm going to find look at my Bluetooth down here. I can click on my Bluetooth on my Chromebook. Okay, there's, I went down and turned on the Bluetooth and off just to see if I could find it. There's the EV3, it's pairing. Okay, so that's perfect. Um, there's a message that pops up on my EV3 to check. I want to move the arrow to the check mark to say Chromebook Connect. And the pass key's already in there. It's one, two, three, four. Just hit the check mark to enter. And then enter one, two, three, four on your computer screen too. And then click pair. And it should say EV3 connected. EV3 disconnected. <laughs> Double checking. Let's see if I X out of here, what happens? Let's see if I can go back in. Oh, there it is, available bricks. Sometimes you might have to go back in, connect, pass key. Did that. And there it's connected. So you might just have to run through those steps a couple of times. It says brick successfully connected. It shows me what motors are connected. And then I can go ahead and start coding my first um, lesson, which is the sound and the expression. So. If you've watched video two from before, sound and expression, I'm going to drag the pieces out. And again, it's a little slower on your Chromebook just because of the software. You just have to be patient. Otherwise, you have to use the old school software. And then I want the sound. Put that in here. And change it to the dog, let's say. And I can play around with that. I'm going to hit download over here in the right hand corner. You can also um, you can also hit play so that you can see what the menu, I believe it will play. That's it downloading. It makes that sound. Okay, it downloads and then I can I can disconnect my EV3 and I can go to my program. Um, we didn't rename. We do need to rename our program before we delete it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But it did it did download to my EV3. So what I'm going to do before I finish, I'm going to come up here to Project 1 at the top and come to the little snowman, rename. And this one we do want to save as sound so that all my projects are named correctly on the EV3. Save. And now I can download. Again, I'm going to hear that confirmation noise on the robot, and everything should be good. If you have any problems, feel free to ask, um, but I'm going to minimize and stop my video.